Hey YouTube, and welcome back to episode three of the Rosebud Challenge with Emily here. We are just getting back into things. She's up. All she needs is to eat, and unfortunately we still can't afford a stove. So she is going to have to, or she, we can't afford a fridge, rather. So we're going to travel. We're not taking anybody with us. Where are we going to go? We're going to go to Willow Creek because the library is right here. But we're going to go to the park first. Mm, or actually we're going to go to the, we're going to go to the blue velvet because we can get free chips with blue velvet and then we don't have to cook anything which would cost us money. And then we'll hop over to the library to see about writing a new book because now she can write short stories and we definitely want to take advantage of that. So we are going to go over here and order food. There's so many new choices now. Meat and cheese platter, french fries, fish and chips, currywurst. We're doing the chips because they're free and we don't have a lot of money. But that's definitely cool. And that's probably because with the new expansion pack, clubs are and bars are a big thing. And now we have Dominic Friars, who is a member of Windenburg. He's also a member of the Spin Masters and the Good Timers. So we might as well get talk to him. And now we're talking about dinosaurs. Because, you know, they're just evolved from frogs. Who knows where we're gonna go? And Emily has acquired the comedy skill which allows her to tell jokes at the microphone and write jokes on a computer. Wait, where are you going? And she's almost done with her chips. Gotta get every last one because we can't afford anything else. And you've gotten him to sit back down. That's a small feat. And so he's part of the Spin Masters who like to DJ and dance. And he's also part of the good timers. Everyone can be a good timer. You just need to appreciate a good drink and a good game of foosball. And there's a couple other people in the group. So long as you're not a child, you can join. And they like to play pub games and drink at bars. This might be a fun club for her to join. Maybe later. When we've got more money and can afford going to bars a little more often. I think I'm going the wrong way. Yep, there's a the library. And we are not taking him with us because he will just distract us from writing. Okay, stop. Stop talking. You have writing to do. Writing means that we earn simoleons, and simoleons pay for that fridge that we need in order to eat, not at a bar. Give us the potential to maybe one day, if we're lucky, build a house. We can hope. We can hope. With the new clubs, it's given me the other idea that maybe she could start her own club since she's a writer. Oops. Since she's a writer, that maybe we can start our own writing club or author club. And I can, when we get a high enough perk level, 
potentially create like a little club hangout here at the library for people who like to write and read. And we are going to browse the Sympedia to be focused. And then write some short stories. And she is now focused. Okay, you're focused. You can stop searching. Let's see, what do we want to call this short stories? The Tales of the Windenburg Kittens. Read all about the kittens that call Windenburg their home. And now we get to writing that short story. Are you talking or writing? This has always been so weird. The computer continues to write words and words and their hands are just in their lap. Like they're writing telepathically. Just telling the computer with their brain what they want to write and it just shows up on the screen. Wouldn't it be fun to write like that always? Yeah. You might end up with the weird world's randomest sentences because sometimes people's thought process are exceedingly random. I'm just going to triple speed this because it takes a while. And we're not going anywhere until she's done. I hope. This book seems to be taking forever. And now she's going to the bathroom. That's a pretty desk. You done? You're still focused, so you're going to resume writing these tales of the Windenburg kittens. Untamed treachery of your heart. Well, parts of this saucy novel contain examples of your more typical treachery. The vast majority of this treachery is completely untamed. One day we will be on the shelves of this library. Or, if we own enough money, maybe we'll own our own bookstore and sell our own novels. For whatever we decide to price them at. I like how they are the only two in this library, because I don't think anybody's upstairs. Nope. Everybody's like, it's daytime. We should be out doing things, not in the library. But this is our work. And we will do it very well. Or as well as possible. Do you want to buy a stereo? No, you want to dance to stereo music. Well, if you complete this book, maybe we will be rewarded and travel to Windenburg. You done? <gasps> You're done! Perfect. Okay. We're going to do one thing. Because you're hungry. Let's see, those are good. Those are good. And those are good. Eh. Which means it really doesn't matter which one you eat. Pear tree has nothing to harvest. There are no random little... There's no anything to harvest. Oh, oh, wait, these are excellent. Screw that. Forget those. Forget those. You'll just complain that they're horrible. Wait, where are you? There you are. Eat the excellent hot dogs. You're a foodie. You like excellent food. It's too bad we can't put these in our inventory and just take them home. Like, you can't even take the one you grab and put it in your inventory. You either eat it where you find it, or it just goes away. And 
That is a shame. It's a very big shame. Because they're just going to go to waste out here with nobody eating them anyway. Wait, I'll let you finish that. Now you're done. Now we shall travel. And we are going to reward her success by going to the very new Windenburg and going to the nightclub. So she can dance and have fun and meet some new people. What's your party two outfit? Oh, right. That's for costume parties. Back to one. Now let's get in here and dance. And if you weren't aware, this is a brand new venue in the brand new Windenburg, which is this beautiful town right here with the lovely sculptures that light up and the waterfalls that light up and we're just in the mountains and we're along the ocean and it's just absolutely stunning and they've got these awesome new dance floors that you can dance on dancing now actually is a skill as is DJing over here unfortunately she can't practice on a DJ booth in an actual club until she actually has the skill but you never know at some point when we have enough money maybe we can afford one of the cheaper ones I think this cheapest one is like 500 simoleons so it may be a while because we still need you know a house and everything but we've got this nice dance club down here with her running the DJ booth there's a bartender up here if we want drinks and this is getting her fun up And we have a couple members of the Spin Masters here. So she can dance and talk to the Spin Masters all the time. And what's cool about the clubs is, like, if you come down here, ah, there we go. Um, you can see that this door has a little headphone on it it's because it's specifically for the spin masters you have to be part of the spin masters in order to get in unless you can try to kind of secret not shake it in and let them enter but basically clubs can have their own secret little hangouts that only other club members can get into at a specific lot which is why i was figuring the library would be perfect for like a book writers or a book club anybody who likes to read or write books because you've got all the books to read in there they've got computers to write and we could potentially have desks set up specifically for the group to use so if all the computers up in the main area are taken there's secret computers down in order to make sure our guys always have a computer to use And they've got new moves. Let's see if she'll do it. Oh, no, because she's in the way. <laughs> Apparently, we need the whole dance floor for this, and I'm not sure why. So, are you not doing this? Can we try it again? There we go. This is one of the new dances that your Sims can learn and do. It's their basic dance. And she did it pretty well. And there's even a little status bar here that shows that she's doing it. Uh, 
You gonna do it one more time? Or is that it? Nope, that's it. You can also, like if you click on, let's click on her. I think, nope. Oh, here. You can also dance battle. Oops. And then pick somebody to dance battle. And I'm not actually going to do that because she has barely even one skill in dancing. And in order to be part of the Spin Masters, you have to have at least the level two. This little member of the Paragons here, who is like the plastics from Mean Girls, is now dancing with us. Never hurts to be on the good side of all the different clubs. And that's part of it. The DJ skill, too, is you can hype the audience. That's when all the little balloons above their heads come on and they all start doing the same thing. That's the DJ hyping the audience, making their experience a lot better. And this is doing wonders for her social and her fun. Even her energy is doing decent. Though, I do want to get her home before royalties hit so we can get this snazzy new book that she wrote in the mail so that we can get royalties on it before 10 a.m. But she's almost at level 2 for the dance. So I'm kind of wanting to leave her here for a minute. There we go. Emily can now discuss dance techniques with other sims on the dance floor. She can also show off the pump pop dance move. What does she want to do with him? Be funny with Dominic. Well, since he is right here. Let's tell a funny story. She seems to be having a good time with both of these girls. Always good to have. She's made so many friends because she came out here. Since so we've got Candy Burr. Where's Siobhan? Practice dancing in the floor mirror, finish reading a book, and hug somebody. <laughs> She's a little late to the pipe party. That's adorable. Oh no. He's in the way. I like how everybody has to get off the dance floor in order to show off the moves. Like, I'm only one person, but I need this entire space to show you what I got. Goodbye! Let's try this again. That's right. We learned a new move. And it is awesome. <laughs> Can't go wrong with these new moves. Oh, 
Oops, I didn't mean to do that. No, you're done watching. You're gonna dance for a little bit more, and then we're going to get you home. Because your energy is in the yellow, and so is your bladder. Which means you're gonna need to go home soon anyway. That's right, you can dance and socialize at the same time. Oh. Unlike most of the main skills, dancing is a sub skill, so it's only got five levels if I remember right. Which means it's also fairly quick to level up. That's right. Look at you dance. Showing off all your new skills. You can also ask other sims and ask to see outfits, which is kind of cool. Oh, she's leaving. I guess we're closing down the bar because everybody else is leaving. Even the DJ is going home. See, even the DJ wants to go to bed. But it is time to go to bed. Maybe we'll see you later. You are not taking, no, no. You were not taking a nap. You were going home. I know they've got nap. They've got couches here that you can nap on. They're right there. They overlook the dance floor. But no, when you're going to go home, you're going to leave this beautiful, beautiful town. They did a really good job with this expansion pack. This new town is amazingly beautiful. And we're accidentally watching the sun come up. Now that the sun's rising on our little home, we are going to self-publish our book, go to the bathroom, and then you can sleep. Look at you, you're all happy. Bumpin' beats. The DJ was spinning vibrant beats and the dance mode was on fire. Congratulations, Emily has self-published a book. And unfortunately, you're uncomfortable because you have to be. And because you love the outdoors, being outside makes you happy too. And that is why we gave you that trait. Yes, it is. Oh. So we didn't make any money. But at least she got a book written. I may take her out next episode to scour the land for all things diggable so that we can hopefully sell a little more. Oops. And now she has 13 simoleons to her name said this morning to add to her total to 257. Tales of the Wonderbird Kittens has five. Patty the Otter Makes a New Friend is still number one for the books at $6. And Patty Otter Learns to Swim has 
and I think the fridge was 250. So we're going to go in here real quick. Nope. 375. I totally well, remembered that wrong. Well, hopefully next time we can have her earn enough to get that fridge. And that way we won't have to wander away in order to feed her that she can take care of all her needs before we head out into wherever we're going. And then we start saving up for walls. But I did say once we got her a fridge, which means that she can eat cereal or chips or milk or juice, all of which help with her hunger. She now has a shower. She now has a toilet. She has her bed. It means that once we get the fridge, we can actually get her a job and let her start making actual money, which will go towards building her a real house. Once we have walls, a door, and a window, and a sink, we can also start looking for Emily's Mr. Right. Make sure to hit that subscribe button to make sure you're notified for when the next episode comes out, and make sure to leave a like. I will see you all next episode. Bye!